Uh, hey guys, Dirty Shows No725 here, and I got a tutorial for you today. Uh, how to use a different program other than Cinema 4D or After Effects and all that crap. Um, it's called Sculptress, and basically what Sculptress is, it's a 3D modeling program used more for organic models, not you know like other stuff, you know like iPods or um, most any other like aren't inanimate objects you might want to model. So this is more for organic stuff. So it's totally free, 100%. You know, it's, it, you don't have to pirate it or anything. It's completely free. Um, from Pixelogic.com, I'll put a link into it if you want to get it. And it's really fun. I've been playing with it a lot today. <clears throat> and so basically, what you're going to want, what you're going to happen when you first load up the uh, uh, the window, sorry, is you get uh, you, you get an a oval like this with a line down the middle. Now that line doesn't stay there. That's just the axis of symmetry. And so, basically, what you can just start off doing is just pulling at stuff and making cool stuff. I don't want that. And, um, looks pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm going to go over all the tools for you right now. And, yeah. So the first thing you might want to notice is material. You can, you can change the material to what you want. So we have a glass orb here. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of materials here. I haven't even gone through all of them. And plus you can update normals. N normals, um, but I'm just gonna stick with the regular default, default gray. So <clears throat> the first tool we have here is called a crease tool, and basically what that does is it creates a crease down the middle, so it scores it basically. As you can see, there's a crease down there. Now I don't want that, so that, it basically makes a crease. I haven't really found a use for the crease tool yet. You, know, you can make a smiley face. Uh, um, oops. Said. There we go. Um, then next is the rotate tool, which basically just rotates this thing, which rotates the object. Then the next is scale. You can scale the object and such. You can pull on it to scale it. And you can also rotate by just holding off the object. So I'm going to put this back to normal. Okay. Next is the, gr I'll finish off with the manipulation tools, and these next is the grab tool, so you can move it and such when you have multiple objects in here. Next is the draw tool. And the draw tool basically just pulls out whatever you're going, you're moving on. So as you can see, I made these two discs, this discs thingies, I'm going to call eyes. Um, yeah, that's basically what the draw tool does, it pulls out. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, I'm immature. And the next one's flatten, which I'll go back and pull something out here. And so we have those items, but we don't want we want to flatten part of them. So we're gonna go on the inside, and look, we now have it flattened partly, and it looks like eyeballs now. Next tool we're gonna be using is called the inflate tool, which is like the grab tool except uh, to a more extreme. And so you can pull out, you can make like arms with this and stuff, so right now the guy has like mighty double horns and uh... you know, we can make arms here and uh... yeah, actually I want to keep this, uh, I'm gonna like that um... next is the pinch tool which basically just, I, I haven't really, f like, it, it's kinda hard to use I'm not, it, like it, what it does is it makes a finer point on whatever you're using so you know, I found the best way to it's make a point upon a point. So if I pulled these out and now I made a point on the uh, soft thing. And the last one's smooth, which I one of my favorite tools so far, which basically makes everything look nice and neat. You know, gets rid of all the uh, the rippling and stuff pull made by the object. And uh, so here's those are basically all the tools, and the rest of these are also controlled by here. Like wire, fr I can make a wireframe. See what it looks like on wireframe, which will become useful. Like a mask, uh, wireframe. Um, so yeah, that's that's the basic modeling for this. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to make a model and then export it into Cinema 4D. So, um, what say we have this our model? I'm just going to create a little bit more. I'm just going to inflate, make a nose for him. Look at him. Now I'm going to make a chin. And now we got a, a an average face. I'll make eyes, and then I'll I don't know flatten the eyes. So now that we have a a, a, a kind of face looking thing, what you're gonna want to do 
is uh, you want to go to export or control E and what this is going to do is going to export it in an object file OBJ file which Cinema 4D recognizes so I'll just put this as test test object and yeah whatever save over that last one it wasn't very good and now we have this so now we go to our desktop and you see our test object is right here so what you're going to want to do is load up Cinema 4D and you're going to want to just drag this in and scale it's going to be one centimeter so let's just start it off with one centimeter and there we go our objects now in uh, Cinema 4D so it can be used to uh, you know can't really animate it because you'd have to make multiple parts to animate it and I don't think that would be that difficult but uh, you know it's cool if you want to make like an organic whoa whoa okay where the hell did he go oh there okay there he is um so yeah there he is damn it whatever you, you know you can you can understand and you can even paint him so I want to give him a red color and uh yeah look out and now he's red he looks cool he's a little demon we'll call him Fred okay so yeah that's uh that's basically how you make uh, use Sculptress, and if you guys want, I'll go into more detail with this as I learn the pro uh, the product more. So yeah, just uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, thank you. I've been Darius Shizmo seven twenty five, and uh, see ya.